Wait, can you, no, it's okay. Just leave it like it is. Can you see us? Yeah? Okay. We good? Okay. This is Jeff Mucci with RCR Wireless News. We're at FutureCom 2012 at the Converse booth with Yarev and Rahman. Uh, introduce yourself, tell us what you do, and then I want to talk about uh, what you're showcasing at the, the event and then what uh, uh, Converse market presence is here in Latin America. So let's start with you, Yarev. Uh, introduce yourself and tell us about what you do. Hi, um, I'm Yarev Giller. I am VP Marketing and Strategy at Converse. And uh, uh, this show is really uh, important for us as uh, Latin America is a very strongly growing market. And uh, what we're showcasing here at the show today is innovative solutions for our customers, the telecom providers, to take their assets and to better monetize them in new and innovative ways. Um, we think this is really important in an age where the industry is really uh, feeling a competitive pressure from all sorts of new directions. Uh, Part of them are from over-the-top layers, part of them are from competition within their own industry. So we're really trying to focus here on tools around applications, maintaining a customer experience that's consistent with what people are expecting these days. And on the other hand, also uh, enabling them to monetize this and differentiate from other competitors in their industry. So those are the key so items. So you talked about social media, you talked yep. about data. Can you give me some specifics about what that product looks like to a customer? Sure, absolutely. The idea here, again, is to focus on customer experience. And one of the things we're showcasing here is a social solution that helps our customers move from a very informational mode, which is what they do today. They put up basically up a web page on Facebook saying, we launched a new service, people ideally say we like it, sometimes they say they don't like it, but it's not a very sophisticated way of addressing social media. What we're showing here is a social app that goes into Facebook that can be spread between the customers of a, a telecom operator, and it will let customers serve themselves in terms of managing their account, adding funds to their account. Um, it enables them to use the traditional communication modes like SMS, voicemail, MMS, all integrated into the Facebook interface. Um, but it lets telecom operators do something much more sophisticated, which is target customers with all sorts of um, targeted campaigns, which is what Facebook and Google have been doing tremendously well based on who you are. So for example, if I would see that you have a family, I would start promoting a family package to you. If I see that you travel a lot on Facebook because you're, you know, saying, telling your friends that you're traveling, maybe I'll provide a, a roaming package to you and promote that. And it can spread into all sorts of interesting directions, basically leveraging the analytics of who you are and providing new services to the customer. And on the data side, yep. Uh, what are some of the uh, kind of at a high level some of the things you're offering on the data side? Yeah, on the data side, you know, what we've been seeing is that the trend has been from a very competitive uh, uh, direction for our customers to just uh, go and say, we're going to provide you an unlimited package for the lowest price possible in the market. And we're trying to pull them out of this mode and try to provide them tools to do much more sophisticated data monetization. And the meaning here is to being able to segment your customer base into different groups of people and to charge them based on the value that you're providing to them. For example, somebody who sees a lot of streaming video over his data connection uh, might be willing to pay a certain premium for a package that's tailored for their use, as opposed to somebody who just mainly uploads Twitter feeds or maybe accesses Facebook heavily. So you can create different segments in your market and address them differently by combining a strong mobile internet capability and a strong billing capability to match that. And Ramon, uh, talk a little bit about your market share in Latin America and um, uh, some of the things that you're seeing in Brazil and across the region. Yeah. So, we have a very strong uh, market share in uh, Latin America. I'm the general manager of uh, Caribbean Latin America for Converse. Uh, we've been uh, very active in the region for more than uh, 15 years. Uh, one interesting statistic I like to cite is we are present in every country in Latin America except for Cuba and French Guyana which is, uh, I think, more than most of our competitors. We are also very um, keen on developing this region more. We are um, uh, going to accelerate our investment in the region. Uh, we've gained a lot of traction at the start of this year. We have a very strong new team across services, delivery, support, and um, sales. Uh, in addition, 
we are working and partnering with a lot of global accounts in the region uh, and specifically the the key offerings which we find most relevant um, you know relevant to this industry in the in in this market is around 4g uh, a lot of operators are looking to launch 4g they have launched 4g and they're looking to see how to monetize it <clears throat> and uh, one of the most common things I hear from operators is, I launched 4G, now what? And uh, Converse has a 4G package, 4G monetization package, which is a, a complete suite of uh, customer care, rating, charging, billing, and policy solution. Uh, this is to effectively start up your 4G operation, give a very strong customer experience, and also a new target, targeted architecture so you can bring your legacy to this new solution. So we find this uh, 4G package gaining a lot of traction in the market. The other thing we're coming to the market is uh, with uh, value-added services, which are SaaS-based. Uh, we see more and more uh, clients of ours asking for uh, operations which are services which are prove it to me in the market and let me contract you for a long term. And Converse has a cloud-based SaaS offering. Um, some of, uh, you know, some examples are Parental lock. You know, we have a pro proliferation of um, tablets across the market. 4G will accelerate that trend, and uh, you know, kids are going to have uh, tablets. Parents would want to be able to control their behavior when they're not in front of them. Uh, the other um, service we're launching is around um, virtual fence. Uh, we know that some of the cities in Latin America security is not the best. Um, and people are concerned about safety of their relatives, their children, their wives, parents, etc. And we have a solution where you can uh, dynamically track where your loved one is, and if they're beyond a certain parameter, you can get an alert. Um, another service we are promoting, uh, which we feel is, um, you know, is a service which will uh, gain a lot of traction, is um, around a safe drive. So when you're driving, especially Rio traffic, we've seen all that is. And you don't want to be sending SMS while uh, you're in the traffic. So we have an application, again on the cloud, where you can communicate SMS while talking, okay? Um, so these are some of the very exciting services which are tailored to this region. We find great traction with each CXO I've spoken to. They really like this offering, and uh, we are very bullish on the market. Thanks for your time today. Thank, Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you. Thanks. Very good. Thanks. I want to make sure, did I get both your cards? You got mine. Okay, good. Not mine. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me get it from my back. So where's home? Tel Aviv. Well, Tel Aviv, yeah. Ritzalia, right north of Tel Aviv, but uh, okay. pretty close. It's amazing the uh, wireless and software expertise in Israel. Um, I haven't been, but I would like to do a, a trip and really deepen the RF. Yeah. There's a ton of RF companies there. Yeah, there are. And how long have you been with, um, with these guys? Yeah. Um, you sure you gave me a card? I know you did. I'm happy to give you ah, a second. No, no, it's sitting on the counter. No, it's sitting on the counter. Okay. I, I just want to make sure. Um, it's uh, three and a half years. Where were you before? Thank you. I, uh, Thank you. Good with talking a, to you. Uh, with a, uh,